Welcome to the first part of video series of slit lamp. In this video we will cover the parts of slit. So let's just this is motorized table on which the slit lamp is mount. As we go upward slowly in the middle of the table there is a button which is used to up and down the slit lamp according to the height of the patient like this up and down it is shifted up and down by pressing the button as you see in the video this is joist it is used to move the slit lamp in various direction according to the adjustment of patient by using the joystick it in the slit lamp is moved backward like this forward left and in the right hand side by rotating the joystick in clockwise direction the slit lamp is move upward and anti clockwise it is move towards uh, the down side towards the right side of the slit lamp there is a small screw which is called locking screw it is used to lock the slit lamp when it is not in use by uh, rotating in count uh, clock now you cannot move the slit lamp uh, even after moving the joystick it is very useful during the transportation let's just unlock the after unlocking the screw it is easily move in the desired direction there is one more uh, locking screw on the all three coaxial arm of slit lamp which is used to lock all the three arms now all the arms of slit lamp are locked and not moving independently when you unlock the screw the arms are moving independently like this now you can move each and each of the three arms respective of each other there is one more lever on the illumination arm it is used to incline the position of illumination arm during the examination of aqueous floaters or cells which can be better enhanced with this method like this it has three steps and you can set in just above the lever there is one more uh, circular screw as you can see uh, it is used to tilt slightly tilt the angle of the illumination arm uh, like uh, in left and right position which is used for the better enhancement of fundus and uh, gonioscopy this is observation arm through which uh, the examiner is examining the patient's eye it has uh, two eye pieces right and left this is uh, left one this is right one and it has scales above it which is used to adjust the eye piece according to the refractive error of of examiner by rotating the knob of if each eye piece if the examiner is emetropic then it is adjusted on the zero scale which gives the better view and after adjusting the uh, knob the ipd is adjusted as you can see there are two knobs on in the observation arm the first one this one is used to adjust the magnification according to the illumination at different level like 16x 40x 25x again 16 by rotating it counter and clockwise 10x the second knob is in this one is used to enhance the stereo acuity but it is very minimal it is useful during posterior segment examination or fundus examination and gonioscopy there are two marks which have only difference of 3 degrees which is very minor which is appreciable during the posterior segment fundus examination now let's just just come to the illumination arm this is the overview of 
illumination of as you can see in the video there is a scale here which shows the angle between observation and illumination arm it has marking from 0 to 90 degree useful to set the angle between observation and illumination this knob is used to adjust the width of the slit during examination it has scale from 0 to mm by rotating it slowly in uh, clockwise and counter clockwise direction like this as you can see in the video again this the bottom lever is used to incline the whole uh, illumination arm as we have discussed earlier like this it has been three step in this knob is used to uh, adjust the illumination arm right slightly right and left direction during posterior segment examination for better enhancement of this is the reflecting mirror through which the light passes and goes to the patient eye and illuminate the patient's eye Just above the uh, reflecting mirror, there is a uh, one more scale which shows the angle between 0 to 180 degree. It is used to rotate the direction of slit during different type of illumination. And this knob, by rotating this knob, this knob is used to adjust the height of slit beam. Just above this knob, there is one more lever which is used to change the filters of slit lamp. There are four spaces, four uh, which appears to be circular. The first one has uh, normal light, the second one is neutral density filter, and the third one is uh, in red free filter, and the fourth one has no filters as it is shown by the dotted lines. So you can change the filters by shifting this knob in different four directions as it is marked on the illumination arm this part is used for the fixation of for the patient it has a circular fixation target which is used uh, to fix the patient eye like uh, as you can see the circular target uh, dot in the center the patient is asked to look at the uh, dot and it is adjusted like this That's when the slit lamp is on the, uh, the circular target appears to the patient and a patient can be instructed to see inside it and it, it is adjusted according to the patient refractive error as it is uh, shown in the scale it has set up for the high myo high hyprops or even e metro as shown in the scale from 0 to plus 10 and 0 to minus 10 this is the application chronometer which is attached as an accessory and it has a scale from 0 8 these are the hand rest both on the right and left side which is used by the patient for the proper positioning of the chin and this is the chin rest where patient has to put his or her chin and this is the rotating knob it can be adjusted up and down by rotating the knob in anti-clockwise and clockwise like this it now it is go goes to downward and it is adjusted according to the patient's height this is headrest on which the head head is rested and this these black marks are used to align the canthus for, for proper positioning during the examination of patient it is on both sides so these 
it is very important that canter should be align this black marks for proper positioning of the patient after